Okay, everyone, welcome to this awesome website I found. Uh, it was actually provided by Vsauce, who's a really awesome uh, YouTube guy. If you haven't heard of him, he does a lot of sciencey things. And so he linked to this, and I just wanted to. I, w I went. He did it a couple weeks ago, and I just found it again because uh, I remembered how awesome it was. And uh, so here it is. It's called OMG Space, and essentially what it is is the the solar system with the planets scaled proportionally to one another, but also uh, distance from the sun is scaled. So as you can see on the right side here, we're going to get a little preview of what's going to happen. We've got uh, in the top right corner here, you've got Mercury, Earth, Mars, and the asteroid belt all in this little chunk, and then you've got the planets spread out. So now we're going to go on a journey from the sun, and we're going to look at the size of all these uh, objects in the solar system right out to the very edge, which apparently is Eris, which honestly, I don't even know what that is. Like, that's 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 how I knew by him at this stuff. I'm very interested in space. I, if my channel became all about space, I'd be very excited. So here's the sun. You may recognize it. Uh, what a what a, a miracle this is. Um, unbelievable to think that this thing is just an exploding fireball. Ridiculous. So it's uh, a million and 300,000 kilometers in diameter. Okay. Okay, it rotates around the center of the galaxy. I didn't know that. Well, I knew that, but I didn't know how long it took. That's interesting. Another interesting news thing today, which I might link, is that uh, giant thing they found in space. It's like four and a half light years long or something. Ridiculous. I might put a link to that. That was crazy news, too. So we're just heading out from the sun here. We're just going on a little adventure. I honestly don't know when we're going to see the next thing, but... Uh, it's going to keep on going. I don't know how long this video is going to take. I'm just pressing down on my keypad here and uh, and just letting it go. I mean, this this I, this video could take a very long time, actually, if we're just going to do it this way. Because as you can see by the scroll bar here, I mean, we're let's just keep going. I mean, I guess this is just the way to do it. I wish I wish actually it would be really cool if they showed you how fast I was traveling. That would be really cool. Like how fast I was scrolling. So if I was scrolling at like, I don't know, uh, a million miles a second or something, that'd be pretty cool to know. Or a million miles a, a kilometers an hour or something. But we don't know that. So we're still trying to come up on Mercury here, which is the first planet in the solar system. I, I never, this is my first time doing this with the keypad and I mean... I, I really don't think I can continue, continue to do this for the rest of the solar system, unfortunately. Um, this page is massive. I mean, we're just going to do this just to show you how far away... Oh, Mercury. We found it. So it is 58 million kilometers from the sun. I actually could do a calculation, I think, from this, could I not? Because I know the time it took and I know the distance. So I could calculate the speed. Technically, I could. Maybe someone in the comments will figure that out. Uh, or maybe I will. So 58 million miles from the sun, it's 5,000 kilometers in diameter, and one orbit is 88 Earth days, as you can clickly read. So you can actually click on this too, uh, which I'm, and it'll tell you like all the stuff. So here's like uh, satellites, zero satellites, um, and it looks like we've got, why does it say zero satellites here? I don't know, because there's two of them right here. Um, maybe they're not working anymore. Mission success, yeah, so Messenger is orbiting it right now. So that's kind of cool. And it looks like, oh, and, and I guess Columbia is too. And maybe Mariner is too. Oh, I guess, no, see, they're not ongoing. So that means it stopped, I guess, so it was successful. So there's no satellites around it right now, which is kind of sad, actually, there's no satellites around Mercury. Let's head back, and I think it actually puts you right back in the same spot. Oh, <gasps> it does, okay, good. For a second there, I thought we were in the wrong spot. Okay, well, let's keep on going here. I'm not sure how long I've been recording. Actually, I can find that out right here. Let's stop for a sec. We've been recording for four minutes, so we've got, we're doing okay here. Consider we got one planet down. I'm not sure, I don't think I wanna make this video 15 minutes long. Um, I'm not really sure how to skip to planets. I get, I, wait, does this skip it priority properly? I think it does. Yeah, here we go, here goes Venus. It'll accelerate the scrolling. Oh, there we go. There's Venus. Okay. 
That's a much faster scrolling. It's not actually that close. So 108 million mile kilometers from the sun, which I think Mercury was like 58 or something. It's uh, more than twice as big as Mercury, so that's kind of cool. Let's look at some information on exploration. Lots more missions to Venus because it's it's not quite as hot apparently. Looks like there's zero satellites active right now. We had a bunch of failures, a uh, bunch of successes here in the 80s. Let's look back here in the 60s. A bunch of failures, uh, some successes. Those successes are circles. Failures are X's. A uh, bunch of circles here in the 70s. So quite a bit of success in the 70s, 80s. 90s, not really many missions, and that's reflective of a lot of space missions. Russia, uh, really, look how many Russian missions there was. That's amazing. What are you talking about? No, be quiet. <laughs> I don't know why it's doing that for me now. So we got some planned missions here by some countries. Looks like Russia's got something planned coming up. And uh, so there's an ongoing mission right here. We've got... Yeah, why does it say... I don't know. See, it says it's ongoing here, but it says zero satellites. I don't know. Oh. That probably means moons. That probably means moons. It's, Venus has no moons. Okay. Moving on. Let's get to the next one. So the next one is, uh, we'll go to the moon, I guess. And as you can see, if we look at the scroll bar here, I've barely, barely even scratched the surface of how far we're going to go on this journey. So the moon. We are now 380 kilometers from the Earth. This moon is actually comparable in size to Mercury. It's the fifth largest natural satellite in the solar system, which I think means is fifth largest moon, which is kind of interesting. So it's quite large. Look at all the missions to the moon. Um, 1950, Pioneer was the first one to go. Look at that, eh? That's pretty cool. And uh, lots, of, lots of X's, but uh, some circles. What circles mean? What, is, what does an empty circle mean? I guess that's mission success. I guess, yeah. Uh, yeah, so, I mean, the moon, we know the moon. Uh, obviously, it doesn't have any satellites. Yep, one Earth, one orbit is 27 Earth days. I guess that's why you get the, the moon cycles. Let's move on to Earth. As you can see, it's right here. Look how close that is. Watch this. Whoop. Ta-da. 150 kilometers, million kilometers from the sun. It's got 12,000 kilometers in diameter, so it's by far the biggest planet we've seen so far. And one orbit is 365, I think that should be 0.25 Earth days. And we'll click on the information. Why would you have, what? I guess this is counting like low Earth orbit missions. One satellite, and uh, yeah, I mean, <laughs> I don't really know what they're counting here. What's I guess that's a Chinese mission into space. Yeah, that's right. Eh? That's true. Okay. I think we all know what happens on Earth. Okay, stop yelling at me. I'm not going to click on you again. Okay, now we're going to go to Mars, which is probably my favorite planet. Uh, growing up, my favorite planet was Saturn, but Mars is pretty pretty awesome. Um, so we're at Mars now, which is 2 to 8 million miles from the sun. Its diameter is smaller than Earth's, about half the size of Earth's, or I forget. Basically, the landmass of Earth is equal to the landmass of Mars because of all the water on Earth. I think you're about the same. So let's look at Mars missions. My favorite planet. Uh... I guess this is counting, uh, I would presume, orbiters, although it seems like they should have more recent data than this. They definitely have some, I don't understand this. It's got two satellites, Photo, Phomos and Deimos are their two planets, or um, um, whatever you want to call it, moons. So yeah, there's some missions. Uh, as you can see, they are counting, these are rovers and landers here. But like, I don't know why they're not counting the more recent rovers in the you know 90s and 10s and zeros. I don't understand that. Let's head back over to uh, the next planet. So we're gonna go outside the inner solar system now, and we're gonna go to the asteroid belt, which is something I don't really understand fully. I guess it's just a wave of rocks. As you can see, they've kind of tried to detail 
with all these little tiny docks here. I think that's what they tried to do. Maybe not. I'm not even sure. It's just, uh, it's just a mess out there. So quite a ways away from the sun. It's uh, It's got a lot of diameter, apparently. Wow. Oh, my goodness. Yes, don't show the message again. Sorry about that, guys. I hope that noise doesn't come real down your screens. And um, then they've got some dwarf planets in it, like Ceres. I think we, I've heard of Ceres before. Asteroid Belt's kind of lame. I really, they're planning missions to go and land craft on the, an asteroid. I don't know if that's in the asteroid belt or not. And return it to Earth or something. And I'm just like, that's stupid. That's dumb. It's a waste of time. Go land on Mars. Go land on Io or, or uh, you know, um, Europa or one of the cool cool Saturn. Um, Jupiter. Jupiter. Jupiter moons. Okay, let's move on to Ceres, which is their little boy here. As you can see, we're still in the asteroid belt because you got all these tiny rocks. Apparently, there's millions of them. 950 kilometers in diameter, so not very big at all. And uh, very slow orbit. Let's see if there's any exploration going on. Not oh, one. Dawn is a mission ongoing, apparently. Launch no 07. I'm not sure if it's even there. Um, let's go check that out, actually, right now. Dawn... Um, mission, I guess you'll type in, and we'll see what's on this stuff. It's, uh, what's it been up to? So it's, it's studying them. It was launched in 07, and it was inserted in orbit in 2011, so it is orbiting it. And uh, did a flyby of Mars, so it's kind of it's working apparently, and it's floating around there. There it is, right there, taking some images. Yeah, wow, it's it's got some pictures of this stuff. Interesting. Well, that's Mars actually. That's not that interesting. Here's Vesta. Okay, cool. Let's head back to our fun stuff though. We don't have time for series. We got to move on to the big boys of the planet, of the world, like Jupiter. So we're doing a fast scroll here. As you can see, we're still really close to the sun. We're so close here. Okay, now we're on to Jupiter. Uh, it's a big boy. One orbit is 11.8 Earth years. Let's some exploration on this, which obviously Jupiter was the focus of the uh, 2001 and 2010, the year we made contact, and uh, those movies. So we got some ongoing movie missions. We got some planned missions, Juno. And... Uh, so we got some some cool stuff going on here. Looks like we got some successes. Jupiter is definitely one of those mysteriously cool planets. It's got 63 satellites of the 160. No, no, sorry. Really, 66 satellites? I thought there were 66 planet moons in total. I don't know. I don't know anymore, guys. I do not know. Moving on from Jupiter to another fan favorite, Saturn. This is my favorite as a kid because it has rings. It's not even fair. Exploration information. Not very much, really. It's quite a ways out there. Let's go take a look at how far out it is. 1.4 billion kilometers from the sun. Wow. So it looks like we've got one success and three ongoing missions on Saturn right now. Voyager 1, Voyager 2. Which, I those just passed by. Those were passed bys. Because Voyager 2 is leaving the solar system right now and Cassini which is probably an orbiter and let's head off Saturn and get to Uranus another favorite because of its uh, crude name in elementary school anyway as you can see it's smaller but it's still very big it's 51,000 kilometers in diameter compared to I think it was 15 for Earth so it's quite large another gas planet apparently only one mission and that was Voyager 2. Can you imagine? After all these years, we've only had one thing go by it. And it just it was just using it to propel itself out further into space. It didn't even it wasn't even orbiting. That's crazy. And that was in 77. We gotta get back on this boat here. 27 satellites on Uranus. Lots of lots of little moons out there. And still, as you can see, we're all the way on Uranus. There's only one more planet to go. And we're only a quarter of the way through this scroller here. So there's a lot still to happen. 
So that's Uranus. Let's move on to Neptune. Neptune is significantly farther out. 4.5 billion kilometers from the sun. We're really getting out there now. What a beautiful planet this is. I love its, I love its dark spot. It's amazing. 13 satellites and Voyager 2 again. So it, it, sling, it slung shot off this one as well. And uh, so that's interesting as well. But yeah, like we need to, oh man, I want to get more stuff out there. I want to get orbiters on there, find out it's, you know, what its atmosphere is made up of, which maybe they probably have an idea of, but like they, they need to like refine all that stuff in the future because they make these guesses of what the atmosphere is really made of and they don't know. If they can't figure out Mars's methane situation, how are they supposed to know what Neptune's atmosphere situation is like? They don't know. They're just guessing. Anyway, moving on to Pluto, which is definitely a fan favorite because of its, uh, you know, oddballness. 5.9 billion kilometers from the sun. It's, uh, it's tiny. It's tiny. Uh, if we look at this, here it is right there. You can just barely see it. And, uh, yeah, it takes 250 years to do an orbit. That's insane. So in our lifetime, we will not see an orbit. And New Horizons, I guess, is a ongoing mission. Really? really? I would like to look that up. I'm pretty sure I've looked this up before, but I don't, don't remember it. I don't remember what it did. I'm sure you're probably interested too. 2006. So it was launched in 2006, and I don't think it's there yet. It's not there yet. It's expected to be the first spacecraft to fly and study the Pluto and its moons, Chara, Nix, Hydra, these names. It's supposed to arrive in 2015. Wow. So it's going to take nine years to get there to Pluto. That's amazing. I'm really looking forward to that. That's exciting stuff. Congrats to Pluto. Man, we'll think about it. They're launching this thing. Where am I going here? <laughs> Wrong tab. They're launching this thing for nine years. Five point almost six billion kilometers away from the sun. Whoo, that's crazy. That's amazing stuff. Really is okay. After Pluto, we head to. Oh, how am I gonna say this? Hamui. Oh boy, Hama. Oh man, that's how can I not say that word? Hamia. 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 Yeah, 6.4 billion kilometers from the sun. I doubt there's any exploration. There's nothing to click off of this. No one has, they've just seen this in deep telescopes. Obviously nothing there. But we're just gonna keep on going. I don't even know. You can go look up these places. I will too later. But for the sake of time, I think you got the idea. Um, as far as Hamia and Make Make are concerned, there's obviously no explanation on this too. 6.07 kilometers, 7 billion kilometers from the sun. This is actually a pretty decently sized thing. This thing's about the size of Pluto. Um, how big was Hamea? Let's just go back and check that out. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, yeah, it was pretty big too, actually. Okay, let's let's just skip over these two and go right to Aries, which is, uh, well, let's go to Make Make first. There's Make Make, and now we'll head off to Aries. And this is the longest trip, as you can see, we're flying. There, we made it. Really far out here. 10 billion kilometers from the sun. So that's how big our solar system is. 10 billion kilometers of a radius. That's amazing. It's actually a pretty, it's bigger than Pluto, I think. It's a big rock. It's a good sized rock right there. And that's Aries. And finally, we'll go to the heliosphere. It's been a great journey, guys. Whoa. I don't know what that is. That might just be a glitch. I guess they don't really know when the end of the heliosphere is. Sorry, I touched my mic. And uh, so that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. And uh, go click this link and go find it for yourself because this is an awesome website. And uh, yeah, awesome. Thanks, guys. Have a good one.